Do the dance. Do the dance. Are you ready? Yeah. Working God, He's a miracle working God. Say, He's the Alpha and Omega. And Omega. Yeah. He's a miracle working God. Yeah. Yeah. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. Say, Listen. He's a miracle working God. I believe I'm a provider. Yes, he is. He's the Alpha and Omega. Yeah. He's a miracle working God. Listen. Sing. He's a miracle working God. He's a miracle working God. Hey. He's the Alpha and Omega. Miracles. Sing. God of miracles, yeah. God of miracles, he's, he's a miracle working God. God of miracles, God of miracles, he's, God of miracles. He's, he's a miracle working God. God of miracles, God of miracles, God of miracles, yeah. he's a miracle working God. Aye, aye. Yeah. God of miracles. Yeah. Thank you very much. We bless God for this day. For his glory and his mercy upon our lives. He's been graceful. He's a God of miracles. He's so awesome. Can I hear you sing aye aye again? Aye aye. Oh, 
watching us live, want to thank you so much for tuning in. Today happens to be a mother day, so we want to say to all our mothers, the potential mothers, from Reverend Mrs. Akofi, to all the mothers in the house, want to say that happy, happy Mother's Day. Hallelujah. We wish you all the best. We love you so much. You carried us in your womb for nine months. You cared for us. You've been there with us. We say that mothers, we appreciate you. All right, so we are starting the service and we want to pray shortly. We want to first of all thank God for all that he has done. We want to thank God for the lives of the youth ministry, for the life of our pastors, for the life of the leadership of the church, for the life of every member. We want to say that, Father, we are so grateful. This morning, we want to thank you. We want to give you all the glory. We thank you for the life of our mothers whom we are celebrating today. We say that, Father, we are so grateful. Lift your voice in prayer. Lift your voice shortly in prayer. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. Malako shehede debe le kadaba labadi andada boshe eziki dibili bosha hadaba. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We bless your holy name. That thou art here and said, Father, we give you all the praise. May your name be glorified. May your name be adored. We thank you, O oh Father. We give you all the praise tonight, this morning. We want to say that may your name be highly lifted. May your name be highly praised, O oh God. We bow before your throne and we thank you for all that you have done. We thank you, O oh God, for watching for us. Even through this pandemic, you have been with us. Father, through this season, of COVID-19, you have still been with us, you have protected us, you've guided us, oh Lord. None of us has confirmed to this virus, none of us has tested positive. Father, we give you glory, we bless your name, oh Lord. We are so grateful, we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We want to pray once again, we want to invite the Holy Spirit to come and take control. We are praying, telling God that God, this morning, come and have control over this service. Come and take your place. We invite you into our midst. The Bible says that where two or more people have gathered in my name, there I am also in their midst. We want to pray. We want to lift our voice in prayer and invite the Spirit of God to come and take charge this morning. We are praying, telling God that God, let your will be done this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus, lift your voice in prayer. Lift your voice. Father, we invite you into our midst this morning. Father, we invite you Come and take your place. Come and take your place, O oh Lord. Come and take your place. Come and take your place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Finally, you want to lift up your voice in prayer. Commit today's service into the hands of the Lord. We are praying for our mothers too that we are celebrating them. We are praying that Father, may you protect them, may you guide them. Father, give them good strength, give them good health, bless their hands, bless their work, bless their family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are praying for all mothers. We are praying in the name of Jesus and we are praying that Father, let your will be done on their behalf in the name of bless them, O Lord. Bless them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. We ask for strength. We have. We ask for good health. We ask for long life. We ask for prosperity in the name of the Lord Jesus. Lift your voice in prayer. Lift your voice in prayer. 
Father, give them long life, give them prosperity, give them strength to God, good health in the name of the Lord Jesus. Spirit divine, we thank you this morning. We give you all the glory this morning, O oh Lord. We thank you for all that you have done. And we ask that, O oh Lord, let your spirit take charge. This morning, let your will be done. Bless your people through your servant. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. So wherever you are, today is Sunday. And want to welcome you once again to this service. We want to say that we appreciate you so much for tuning in every Sunday, watching us live using your data watching us may the lord bless you so much we are hoping and praying that during this season you will be okay you will be fine we will come back and we shall count ourselves once again and none of us will be missing nobody will test positive hallelujah to this virus so this morning we will have another ministration from the choir but before we do that uh, if you are celebrating your birthday even though you are not here with us, you are in, in your home, we want to say happy birthday. Hallelujah. All May Bonds, you are saying that happy, happy birthday. May the Lord bless you wherever you are. Uh, your cake, don't worry, when you come back to church, we will celebrate that too for you. Hallelujah. So all May Bonds, we want to say that happy, happy birthday from Reverend Akofi to all the pastors. We want to say that happy birthday to you. Hallelujah. We all wish you well, we all wish you success, and we wish you happy long life. Hallelujah. All right, so let's do it better as we welcome the choir once again to give us administration. Put your hands together for them. Oh, put your hands together. Hallelujah. Indeed, he's Lord. He has won the victory over everything. We give him all the glory. Oh, see. Yeah, here 
Listen, listen. the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Give me F. F. We exalt your holy name. You deserve all the glory and adoration. This morning we come to you. We are grateful and we thank you, Jesus, for the love that you shed in the cross of Calvary, for keeping us to this day. For giving us hope when all is lost. Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise and adoration. We thank you, Jesus. Lift up your voice and worship wherever you are. In your rooms. Fill wherever you are with the presence of God. Let him be felt wherever you are. Let him be filled wherever you are. Everybody help me sing great. Somebody declare it if you believe him that he's great indeed. He's great. Oh, let me hear voices shout his name and declare it's great
the senior youth pastor and the wife Reverend Grace Akrofi I bring you greetings from all the pastors Reverend Joe Joseph Tete and all the pastors and all the entire leadership of the youth fellowship of the youth ministry hallelujah this morning I want to emphasize the fact that we are not living in normal times things are difficult things are not very easy there is fear everywhere there is frustration in the system there is depression oppression suppression all over the place people are losing their jobs people are dying people are sick people are economically broke they are broke there is no means of survival all over the world our great men and women that are supposed to take Jesus for us are broken down and we are trusting the Lord we are trusting the Lord hallelujah this morning looking at all these things that I just mentioned it will look as if we it looks as if we don't even know where God is. It looks as if God has forsaken us. He should know where to be found. There has been so many times people have asked, people have asked the question, why didn't we see this coming? Where was God? People have even questioned the existence of God. But I want to tell you this morning that God still loves you. No matter the circumstance, no matter the problem, no matter the difficulty you are going through, God has not forsaken you. God has not worked on you. God has not given up on you. God still loves you. God is still interested in you. 
He has so great interest in you. He has so much pleasure in you. He still care about you. He is still in the business of protecting you. He is still in the business of providing for you. He has not given up on you. He has not. Whatever happens, God is always up to something. He's always planning something. And I want to tell you that maybe you think that it's over. It is not yet over. Maybe you think that God doesn't love you again. I want to tell you that God still loves you. God is still in control. He's still working. He's still doing his business. He's going about his normal things. He still loves you. The same kind of love. He has loved you right from the beginning. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse, verse 16. Very common scripture. That for God so loved the world. God still loves the world. That he gave his only begotten son. No man will give away what he loves so much for another. God gave his only begotten son. Because God loves the world. There is nothing that can change the love God has for you. There is nothing that can change the interest God has in your life. There is nothing that can change the pleasure that God has in your life. God still loves you. And I want to tell you that the love of God is not conditional. God does not love you because you are academically good. God does not love you because you have a good employment and when you go to church you can give a lot of offering. God does not love you because of the way you appear very beautiful or very handsome. God does not love you because, because of some excellence in some talent or activity. He just loves you. His love for you is not conditioned. God still loves you even when you are walking in sin, he still loves you. God does not love you because you think you are walking in your own righteousness. God loves you even before, even before you loved him. Even before you love him. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says that even when we were in sin, he still loved us. So God does not love you because you are living a righteous life. God does not love you because you are fasting and praying. God does not love you because you are obeying his word. God does not love you because of something that you are doing for him. God loves you because he loves you. And his love is limitless. Most of the time we are tempted to measure God by the standard of man because the love of man is limited. At times we tend to think that God in the same way is limited in his love, in his love towards us. God is not limited in his love towards us. His love abounds from grace to grace. His mercy towards us abounds from grace to grace. His favor towards us abounds continually from grace to grace no matter the diseases around no matter the sicknesses around no matter the frustration no matter the pressure god still loves you he still loves you and i want to side this morning i want to side with with apostle paul in romans chapter 8 romans chapter 8 verse 38 Romans chapter 8 verse 38 Apostle Paul says something very interesting in Romans chapter 8 verse 38 Romans chapter 8 verse 38 he says that for I am sure for I am persuaded for I am convinced for I am not moved I am not disoriented the circumstances and the situations around does not change. It does not, it does not move. He says that neither death, there is nothing that affects man more than death. He says neither death nor life. 
that are dead. These are the two most important in a life of every man. Every man is born. Life is given to the person and everyone will die and go. He says that I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor even angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, I don't care what power it is. I don't care who the ruler is. I don't care where the angel is coming from. No height, no depth, no anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. There is nothing. God does not give up on his own and he's not about to give up on you. It may seem as if everything is falling apart. It may seem as if you have been rejected and dejected. It may seem as if help is coming from nowhere. But listen to me, somebody. God is up to something. He, the love that he has for you cannot be separated. He still loves you. He still cares for you. And he will take care of you. He will keep on blessing you. He will keep on opening doors for you. He is able to take the weak things of this world and turn it around to confound the rice, the wise. The same God is able to bring water out of a rock. He is able and for his love towards you who no, no, no limit. And I want to tell you this morning the only thing that you can do about the love of God towards your life is to love him. If someone loves you you must love him back. And this morning, I want you to love the Lord back because he loves you. And he will work in your life. Coronavirus or whatever it is called will pass away. All the economic things will pass away. All the shouting and the screaming and the death and everything will pass away. And he will still love you. Hallelujah. Oh, free titi. Titi nyanko pone. Buni asafu yewa. Buni amikesie. Ia kafu. Yeshira bo. Na yetu. E free titi. Oh, free titi. Every one. 
family. We thank you for our mummies. We thank you for their lives, oh God. Carrying them nine months. We bless you for their lives, oh God. We give you glory. In the mighty name. In Jesus' name. 
strength thy grace very soon you'll be around hallelujah amen god bless you all hallelujah wow that was a very powerful sermon and a very you know powerful experience in the presence of the lord we thank God for how far he has brought us. Reverend Gerard, we say God bless you for such a powerful section. We say that we love you too and God bless you. All right, so for the mode of payment for offerings, tithes, even if you want to sow a seed, uh, when you watch your screen, you will see a Momo account there, mobile money for MTN. And then also we have for we have bank accounts also that you can wire your transfer and everything. Don't say that we are on lockdown, so we are not paying your tithe. If you are still receiving salary, you must pay your tithe. Because your company is not saying they are on lockdown. They are giving you money. So every income you get or you receive, make sure you pay your tithe. Don't pay your tithe in good times. Pay your tithe also in bad times, and God will bless you. Give your offering, send your offering. Right now you are in the house. So the lawyer fair you could have used to come to church, put them all together and bring it, send it as an offering. Hallelujah. And the Lord will bless you. So once again, we want to say thank you very much, and we love you all so much. All the mothers. We wish you all the best and we love you so much. We will finally invite the choir for some for some solo and then they will give us some few, you know, music and songs and ministrations so that we'll be dancing some more, some more in the house and we'll be praising God and it will be a wonderful Sunday morning. God bless you and I love you. Hallelujah. Today is a Mother's Day. We want to celebrate our mothers. If you are close to your mother, just wish her happy Mother's Day or hold her hands and dance with her. It's a simple song. Yeah. 
sweet mother, I not go forget you for the suffer way you suffer for me. Yeah. Sweet mother, I not go forget you for the suffer way you suffer for me. Yeah, yeah. When I did cry, my mother go carry me. She go sell my picking. Wait till you they cry. Oh, oh, stop, stop. Hey, stop, stop. Sing it. Stop, stop. Make you not cry again. No. Hey. 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 Now you're going to sing with me. Are you ready to sing with me? Hold your mom and dance with your mom. All right, let's go. Let's go. Sweet mother, I not go forget you. For the suffer way you suffer for me. Yeah. Sweet mother, I not go forget you. For the suffer way you suffer for me. Now, let's go. Sweet mother, sweet mother. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Sweet mother. Sweet mother, I not go forget you for the suffer way you suffer for me. Yeah. Sweet mother, I not go forget you for the suffer way you suffer for me. Let's stretch it. Sweet mother. Oh. Time.